hello all welcome back to our channel so students in this video we will discuss the theory explanation of unit number four in the subject statistics for management okay so in before the starting of the video i want to give you a clarity that from unit number four there are very least chances of getting the theory questions better you prepare problematic only in our channel i have already explained the problematic explanation of one way and two way anova which it will come for the long explanation long question also but in theory there are not having any chances but anyway i am explaining some of the important questions hardly one or two questions are there i will explain it briefly okay but there is not at all having any chance of getting theory question from unit number four if in case if they are asking theory also you will not able to attempt that type of questions okay anyway you need to learn the problematic whatever the formulas you will use that is only you need to convert it into the theory okay i hope that you have got clarity ma the first important question you are having small sample test what is small sample test and what are the various t distributions are there this questions they have asked the properties and assumptions also so small sample test is nothing about the less than 30 less than 30 data whatever we are having that we can call it as a small sample test it is the z test whatever we are using like see ma if you want to attempt the theory question also you should have a knowledge of the problematic only z, z test t test these are all we have discussed in the problematic no so when you are attempting for theory also you need to have the knowledge about the problematic without learning problematic you will not able to write theory question in any chapter okay so t test whatever you are having it is having the greater dispersion than standard normal dis, uh, distribution okay so this is the formula of t test you need to remember as it is and you need to put it in your examination paper also okay so t test you are having the uh, formula over here then we will discuss the simple properties of t test okay so t distribution properties is nothing about the it will have the probability of asymmetric okay symmetric and asymmetric you will have it is a bell shaped curve means i will show the diagram also so this is the z uh, sorry this is the t test diagram okay so t test I, it will have the bell shaped thing it will have the greater than one it will have the mean median mode is equal to zero it will have many properties okay minimum five to six properties you need to understand and you need to write it okay next one uh, theory questions are very less ma there is not at all having any theory questions from unit number two in case if they are asking means they will ask the what are the steps of classifying of ANOVA one way ANOVA two way ANOVA we are having no what are the steps of one way ANOVA two way ANOVA they will ask it okay in that cases you need to learn the problematic only then only you will able to learn the theory steps no see first step we will do addition second step we will do multi multiplication like that we will do that is only your converting it into the theory no so that's why definitely you need to prepare problematic at any cost from unit number four there is not at all having any theory in the book also okay so it is waste of time to uh, allot uh, by allotting your time for the theory from unit number four better you go with the one way and two way ANOVA okay I hope that you have got clarity uh, if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section see you all in next video bye bye everyone